Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Thursday, November the 16th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And I've been reading from John F. MacArthur Jr.'s excellent devotional book entitled Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's entry is entitled Stepping Out in Faith. From scripture I read, By faith Abraham, when he was called, obeyed by going out to a place which he was to receive for an inheritance, and he went out not knowing where he was going. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8. The main thought today, friends, is the life of faith begins with a willingness to forsake everything that displeases God. Pastor MacArthur writes, Abraham is the classic example of the life of faith. As the father of the Jewish nation, he was the most strategic example of faith available to the writer of the book of Hebrews. But the people to whom Hebrews was written needed to understand that Abraham was more than the father of their race. He also was, by example, the father of everyone who lives by faith in God. This is what Paul wrote in Romans chapter 4, verse 11. And Abraham received circumcision as a sign, a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. So then, Abraham is the father of all who believe, but have not been circumcised, in order that the righteousness might be credited to them. Contrary to popular first century Jewish thought, God didn't choose Abraham because he was righteous in himself. When, he called by, when called by God, Abraham was a sinful man living in an idolatrous society. His home was in the Chaldean city of Ur, which was located in ancient Mesopotamia between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. God's call to Abraham is recorded in Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. It's written, Go forth from your country and from your relatives and from your father's house to the land which I will show you, and I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great. And so you shall be a blessing, and I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Note Abraham's response. So Abram went forth as the Lord had spoke to him. This is in verse 4. Abram went forth as the Lord had spoken to him. Abraham listened, he trusted, and obeyed. His pilgrimage of faith began when he separated himself from the pleasures of a pagan land to pursue, pursue God's plan for his life. So it is with you if you are a man or woman of true faith. You've forsaken sinful pleasures to follow Christ, and as, you lo as your love for Christ increases, there's a corresponding decrease in worldly desires. I pray that your focus will continually be on fulfilling God's will for your life, and that you'll always know the joy and assurance that come from following him. Amen, Pastor MacArthur. Dear friends, I commend you for having taken just a few short minutes out of your day to listen to this devotional written by John MacArthur. It's been my honor and privilege to read it to you. I've taken his suggestions for prayer and for further study, and I've placed them in the description for this video so that you can have them and read them and interact with them and glean the additional depth of insight and blessing that they have to offer. So I pray you'll do that. And then uh, when we can get together again tomorrow, I pray to hear the next entry from his book. May you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.